driver. Do you drivers need? Yeah. Aye? Yeah. So we'll do a we'll do a 10, 15 minute or so clinic here on driver hitting and there's four main key areas that we're going to discuss with hitting driver. I mean we're, we're swinging this over 100 miles an hour so it's got to be quite precise. So in order to, to do that, the four things we're going to talk about today. First thing, once we're lined up with the ball, ball lined up, club face lined up with target, feet parallel to that, we're going to take the club back in a slow manner. Okay, so takeaway has to be slow and deliberate. So we need to make sure our, our takeaway is quite slow and deliberate to get into a good position here. So I've created width, my hands are outside my right thigh, I've got a good bit of width there to get a nice wide arc to come back into the golf ball to hit the ball on the way up. Okay, so first thing is nice, smooth, slow takeaway. Okay. Second thing, we need to transfer weight with driver. Yeah. Club behind ball, take my address position, good. Then from there, as I look down, my head is behind the head of the golf club. Okay, so I feel as though my, my visual, my eyes are in here somewhere. So I'm behind it, I'm not in line with the club head, I'm not ahead of the golf ball, my eyes are behind the golf club. Okay, so my head is behind the golf, golf club. I then take my club back nice and smooth and slow, and I want to feel as though the top half of my body, my chest, rotates over the top of my right thigh. Okay, so I've not buckled myself out here to get there. I've purely taken it deliberately back. My chest goes on top of right thigh, and then from there I'm loaded, I'm sitting into my right thigh. Then from there I can come back and attack this golf ball. So slow takeaway and get my chest on top of my right foot is going to give me the best chance to launch golf ball. Slow takeaway, over right thigh, then we come back down, I'm going to stop at impact and try and see if my club face points towards target. If my hands are too far forward, it's not going to happen. If hands have passed club head, club head have passed hands, it's not going to happen. I want to feel as though I'm coming to this position here. Okay. So I get into a good straight line. You'll see I'm still tilted slightly behind the golf ball. I'm not top yet. But a good straight line, down left arm, back of left wrist, down club shaft to sweet spot. That's the position I want to get into impact. Take away over right thigh, come back down, and back of left hand towards target, and stop. We're just going to punch a few short shots out there like that, just to feel that as if we're getting into a perfectly straight alignment at impact. Straight alignment being from left shoulder down to sweet spot at impact, so I'm slow back, over right foot, stop. You can see I'm trying to force that ball, keep that club face point towards target for longer. We've done, we've taken away, we've stacked over the right leg, We've got down, club heads behind, heads behind the club head and ball, flat left wrist, then from there we get chest to the sky. Okay, so the chest got up to the sky, is going to put a little arch in your back, that's what's going to get the launching up as well. Slow deliberate back swing, chest over right foot, and then from there coming back down into flat left wrist, and then chest to the sky as we follow through. Okay, let's do one more. So slow and deliberate. Chest over right thigh, flat left wrist, chest to sky. So I'm good. Yeah, much better. Got through the shot, got the chest to the sky and the follow through. So we'll take slow back, getting the weight over the right, and we'll just come back down and we're almost, we're stopping just past impact. Good man. See there? Pretty much mired up. Yeah. You rewind that back to impact, you're in a pretty good position. Yeah, so there's been no reading with the hands. No. There's been none of that going on, so being able to control that motion through the impact. That's it. So we play wee punches thing. What we're doing there is we're educating the hand at impact. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Is it flat left wrist now? Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. So it takes a bit of effort to stop. <laughs> It shows you that position, so you turn the body and everything through there, so it's very dynamic, it's exactly what's going to happen in the impact, full dress rehearsal. This time we're just going to follow through, chest to the sky and the way through. Done. Awesome. Nice slow takeaway, so you keep club face control, good. Up to the top of your swing. You can see now your chest over the top of your right thigh, great. Okay. And then we're going to come back down, 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 and stop there. You can see how your hands are so far ahead, the left feels a bit more good. Great. That's going to pop it to the right. Yeah, there we go. So when it feels this is the fulcrum of your swing, so straight line coming down there through impact as your head stays behind the right. Okay. Done. More sort of half swing to three quarter swing now. Get a bit of power behind it. 
so that's really good. So you're controlling face to path very well there because your start line's superb. There's no curvature on the ball. Brilliant, let's just hit one now. And we're going to take the club nice and slowly back. Right up. Right up the top of your swing. Good. The only time we get more over your right foot, that's it, so there's no shoulder turns with chest and more over right thigh. Mm -hmm. Good. Head still behind golf ball. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Then we come back down, 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 down to there. Good. That needs to stay behind golf ball. Maybe. Yes. That's well, it. Yep. Yes. Right. So your head's in line with that. Yep. And it's going to be in line with that as you stop the golf ball. Yes. Let's do one, we're going to hit about 30 yards or so. Your head's in line with white tee, it's going to stay there. Mm -hmm. Nice smooth takeaway, shoulders turn. Okay. That was a long 30 yards, that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good, so smooth takeaway, shoulders go on top of right thigh at the top. And then from there, you stay behind ball, well done, good man. Done. Because the ball's in the air and forward, we want you to stay a little behind the pitch. So right. that's the difference. So we swing slightly different because I get as I say the balls in the, in, the, in the air and ahead. So that's the thing you should take away from those four things is the fact that when you address the ball, your head's behind the golf ball and uh, impact behind the golf ball. So your average before was 207. Yep. Your Clipping speed 90 miles an hour, blah blah blah, blah. carry now 221.9, we'll call it 222. Okay. So there you go, that is 15 miles an hour, eh, 15 yards further than it was before. Right, just for that different call. And uh, And uh, you, you, you trying to stay a little bit more behind the golf yeah. impact, which as I say is totally different than what we did at St Andrews. But St Andrews we were hitting ours. Yes, sir. Just having an understanding. And when we were out there doing the clinic and I got you to do it, you were ahead of it. And quite rightly so, because that's what I told you to do. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right. A good 15 yards, well done. Right, Yeah. So we did four things about in the little driver clip. Yes. Four different areas. I think for you, back of left hand, controlling face is very important. Yeah. We're going to have a little chat about your swing later on. But there's something in there that, of all the four things to take away there, because you Takeaways nice and smooth anyway. You've got good weight transition, which is excellent. Or transfer of weight's good. Through impact face is pointing a little bit left. Yeah. Um, we need to work on that somehow. Sure. But certainly, so the fourth thing there is a general how to hit driver, but that's one thing you can personally yeah. take away from that. So, I mean, carried 242, they ran out to 270, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, your average before was 205, your average now, there was one that you classed as 4 out of 10, so I mean it can be a lot better. Yeah. But your average carry now is 229.6. Yeah. So two, 230, so 25 yards up with basically one duff in there. And if I took your duff out, you jump up to almost 240, 10 yards straight away. But we'll leave it in because it's real. bring the club back just slowly to me so there the club's pointing down to the ground quite a bit right okay so it's, but we still dissect the hands which is brilliant the only feel is though the toe of your club moves away from the heel a little bit earlier right to there so you're more straight up and down yep toe away a bit okay cool well, your average there was uh, before you were 231 yep your average there was 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 two five seven point four two five seven, which is twenty six yards further. Yeah, even just a little bit better understanding and new technology as well. Yep, well, it's super. Well done, cheers, good man. How good's that? One. We have to hit the flag. Very <laughs> 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 good. So, so the thing to take away from that, so you've gained 30 yards, yep. the thing to take away from that is the left hand towards targets, you're able to control face to path a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I first had you in position, you were a little bit ahead of the golf ball through impact when we stopped you at the impact position. Yep. So thinking about the visor or your cap being behind the ball, 
that impact with the flat left wrist, you, you launched it well. Right. right, we've just done a driver clinic, pre-clinic, um, everybody hit their own driver, their old driver three times, and we got an average yardage for each player. We then did a driver clinic, talking about four areas of the golf swing um, that are relevant to hitting driver, obviously a, a fuel tutorial, if you like, on how to hit driver. And the um, guys were great at that. There was there was certainly one element of each of each bit that every player could take away and use that. They don't necessarily need all four because it was very much a generic driver um, tutorial, if you like. But every player had something specific to work on. So then came back in here, and they did. They had the new driver out with them. They had their new Callaway Epic Flash, and they had another three drives, and the gains were incredible. A combined gain of 96 yards between all four players which was fantastic. Obviously, the new technology makes a massive difference or newer technology than what they already have has made, made a huge difference to the distance that they carry the golf ball. A little bit of tuition in there, just a little bit of guidance that's personal to each player has made that work for them as well. So it's a combination of the two. I'd like to think it's 50-50, but you know the technology from Callaway's drivers is, are, are fantastic. Getting them to see the gains in the drivers are a massive, massive thing for me to see, knowing they're understanding their swing a bit better and understand how to use the new technology. It's all very well giving somebody a driver that's a lot of money and it's a very large investment, but if they don't know how to use it correctly, then they're not going to get the full gain that they should get. And I think today's really highlighted the fact that when you put the two together, they've all nailed it, let's put it that way. Their game should improve, their understanding of the game should improve, and now they're doing it, they're doing it over a four month period with, with that tuition, that knowledge, and the correct equipment that's been custom fitted for them to make this game more enjoyable, and hopefully see some handicaps being reduced. We're gonna do chipping clinic, just a little 10, 15 minutes chipping, you're all gonna get a shot of that as well. We're then gonna do flop shot and some bunker play as well. So the idea is to try and get the ball running as soon as possible, knowing the line is right right to left. If I can get it to run, then I know what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's holding the loft on. If I can get the grooves to point back to me, I've got the loft on. Okay, it's going to point back towards me. My ball position is just inside left heel, so it's quite far forward, quite a wide stance. I dig my feet in and I try my best going downwards and out and there. I don't try and up here unless I'm playing a longer one. 